guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I don't know why I'm doing this intro in the car. Today's video is a day in the life, kind of what I eat in the day, what me and Pete eat in the day. So I figure I would just combine two things that you guys request stuff from me um, into one video. This video is also in collab with my old friend Katie Satilli. I have done a collab with her back back in the day. I met her when I first started my channel and she is the sweetest person ever. She lives in California so we've never met but she's always been super sweet and we always kept in touch. She's a mom of three. They just built a new house with her husband and she shares all sorts of videos just like me. Days in the lives, uh, cleaning videos, decorating videos, all the good stuff. So I feel like if you're new here you probably don't know who she is and you would definitely definitely will want to follow her so make sure you go and subscribe after watching my video you go and subscribe to her channel tell her I sent you you will not regret it and also if you are coming from Katie's channel hi I am Juliana I am a mom to a four-year-old named Penelope and then I am currently six months pregnant with my second baby which is going to be a boy and his name is gonna be Luca so I've been sharing a lot of pregnancy stuff pregnancy updates pregnancy must have a lot of pregnancy related content but I also do days in the life tons of fashion sharing if you don't follow me on Instagram make sure you do I follow I share a lot of affordable fashion there all the sales all the deals and uh, ways that you could you know beauty fashion related that you could look cute and presentable without breaking the bank so if it's your first time here I hope you subscribe you join the family let me know that you're coming from Katie's channel so I could welcome you and without further ado let's get started with this video Is your milky? Thank you, poopy bud. How do you feel today? Good. Okay, so we are definitely breakfast people in this house, so every day we have something different, and it's a pretty good meal, depending on what I feel like eating, either salty or sweet. Um, we always have fresh fruit. So today we are having waffles. Penelope loves these chocolate Belgian waffles from Target's brand. And then I am having a Kodiak cake uh, protein waffle. This is their buttermilk uh, waffle. And I just put almond butter and some sliced bananas. Sometimes Pea will take syrup, or sometimes she'll want... Um, almond butter but today she didn't want any so I just cut it in strips so she could eat it and gave her a banana as well and then she's having a yogurt smoothie and I will either have like a normal fresh uh, brewed coffee at home or I will have one of these uh, Lacombe I don't know how you say it coffees that are so good and they're made with oatmeal after breakfast I usually have my vitamins I'll show you really quick what I've been having. Super vitamin D. Um, I'm always low on vitamin D, so I take these. You just, um, they dissolve in your mouth. Prenatal DHA because my prenatal doesn't have DHA. This is not the one that I usually get, but I had to buy this one before Disney at the store because mine wouldn't get here on time. So I'm just finishing this one up. Um, and then I'll use my regular, which is pills. Um, and then my collagen I still take I don't take the trim while pregnant but safe to take collagen so good for you so I take that and then Penelope has to take her moxicillin because she has an ear infection um, she has like two more days of this and then she takes uh, the sample called blackberry elder black elderberry to help her immune system and her little smarty pant um, smart pants multivitamin oh. Big mouth, big mouth. No, not that big. Good. <laughs> So once we are done with breakfast, either my mom or I will clean the kitchen. Today I was cleaning the kitchen. She actually headed upstairs to make a phone call. So here I am just getting all the dish in the dishwasher. I'm going to wipe everything down and then we could head upstairs to get ready.
And for those of you that have been following me, I know I haven't done any cleaning videos in a while, but I am going to try my best to incorporate them a little bit more often. Um, but nothing much has changed. I still use my German chamois to clean everything and wipe everything down. And then I use the Young Living Thieves Cleaner to also disinfect and clean everything. So once I finish wiping everything down, I quickly go in with my shark vacuum mop or mop vacuum. This thing is amazing. I use it every single day. Super quick and easy to use and it picks up so good, you guys. this is one of the best purchases of 2021 seriously i use this every single day picks up so good you can mop with it this thing is the bomb so once downstairs is good to go we head upstairs and the first thing i have to do as you know if you've been following me is make my bed there's no way i can start my day off without making the bed so that's what i'm doing right now and then uh, we are gonna go ahead and get penelope ready So my pillows, that my Euro pillows were kind of like limp. They were the ones that came rolled out from Ikea. So I found these at TJ Maxx yesterday and they were $35 and they're super soft and fluffy. So I'm gonna put this on the bed. Okay, so I was shocked when I asked on Instagram um, if everybody made their bed every day and 40% of people said no. So I'm gonna read a quote for those of you that don't make your bed as to why you should make it. If you make your bed every morning, you will have accomplished the first task of the day. It will give you a small sense of pride and it will encourage you to do another task and another task and another. And if by any chance you have a miserable day, you will come home to a bed that is made, that you made. And a made bed gives you encouragement that tomorrow will be better. This is by William M. Craven and it's such a good quote. And if you guys don't do it, you should definitely try it. And I promise it's life changing cake for your Barbies? Yes. Wow. All right, let's go get to dress. You look so cute. Let me get your hair. I look so cute. Yeah. And it has a little heart on the O. It does. Uh, I need to get my baby's dress too. You're going to get your baby's dress? Yeah. Look, and there's the spray. Look. You see the blue? You see the pink? <laughs> Take a bow. Yeah, let me see. Oh, yeah. Is it time to put my happy on? In a second. I want to go show Alita. Okay, let's brush our teeth first. Come on. Oh, okay. here. Ben, 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 Ben. Ben, un minuto. She's putting clothes. She's coming up. Ponlo en la ropa sucia. Gracias. And close the closet door. Can I? Oh no, I put my toothpaste, silly me. Silly me of chili me. Silly? There. Sorry, girl. Put, put the, um, my toothpaste so I can cover the, the rest of the eye, of the eye <laughs> toothpaste. so i am showered and about to get ready but before that i have a phone call um with a company i need to get on the phone with uh, for a possible collaboration so it's at 12 o'clock i barely made it showering and everything um it should be around 15 minutes you just need to talk to me uh for a few minutes so i'm waiting for them to um call just gonna set up my notebook here I'm on my desk and then we'll get ready i'll allow you to kind of highlight the product of your choice in the first um, wave of content and use that as an introduction kind of to the brand to your audience mm -hmm. um but from there the creative direction really opens up um, guys this was a zoom call i did not even realize that it was a zoom call First of all, it looks like this a dress, but I feel like it looks like I have pajamas on from here up, um, or like a pajama gown, but it was a Zoom call, and this is what I look like. I mean, thankfully, she didn't have makeup either, but I was just like, great. I thought it was a phone call. She said, can you get on the phone with me? 
And I said, yes. <laughs> and then I see her email after like confirming the phone call. I didn't, cause I had just back and forth with her. So I had already confirmed the phone call with her. Then I realized, I'm like, why is she, why isn't she calling me? And I realized that it's a Zoom call. So that was great. I love it. But she was super sweet. She's gonna send me all the info. Um, we'll see. We'll see if this will be something we could work on. I'm excited though. It was a good um, phone call, even though I look like a hot mess. So we shall see. But we're gonna go get ready right now and then we're okay. gonna a half twist. Yes. All right. Um, I have a little hair tie. Got one here. All right, half twist. So half up? Yep. As we're ready to go um i'm gonna just put everything that i need in my bag my computer and my stuff a sweater because i always get cold and then we're gonna get going I'm leaving but i just made pee a little snack plate uh before i go cheese string some grapes and um some animal crackers and this will be her little snack. I forgot to share this with you guys, but <laughs> while I was getting ready, I ate half of these Lenny and Larry uh, cookies. These are my favorite. We order them on Amazon or if we get them at the grocery store Wegmans, but they don't have them all the time. My favorite is the white chocolate macadamia, but they're big and to me, they fill me up. So I just had half. Um, I ate half yesterday and I just had the other half, but these are so good and they have 16 grams of protein per cook. This is my mom, but all I bring is my water, you guys. I shared this. This is the one that we took to Disney. I drink water all day long. That's how I make sure I have it. I just fill it up with ice. And then I wanted to show you, I just grabbed Penelope a new one at TJ Maxx. She has a pink one, the one that I showed that I put the lip uh, vinyl on. Um, for with the cricket and then i just bought her a new one these are 9.99 at tj maxx so if you see them get them and these i think are 16.99 at tj maxx but they're more expensive online but i got her purple one because she got a purple backpack for school so love these let's go all right guys we are in the car finally out of the house it is such let me just vent a little bit the reason why i'm doing this is because it's been really hard to balance work and motherhood with Penelope in the house even with my mom I think I said this on my last video even with my mom helping Penelope is just so attached to me she wants to be in every room that I'm in like that zoom call I told her a thousand times please do not interrupt me it is a zoom call you cannot come in mommy's room right before I got into the zoom call she's like hi mommy and I love her you guys know I love her but it's just my brain cannot like between pregnancy and trying to get my brain cannot concentrate at home like you see when i'm getting ready she has to be right behind me playing and she's constantly like can you do my ba barbies here mom can you look at this can you do this can you grab me that and i'm just like oh, i need to concentrate on one thing for at least 30 minutes and that just doesn't happen so this is why i'm leaving the house also um i'm not gonna lie this week she's been a really really like i don't know she has not been herself and i want to say this if you've been following me for a while when penelope had a kidney infection um when she was like around 18 months we were at tone's parents we had to take her to the hospital because she had like 105 fever there's a little backup story um she ended up they thought she had a kidney infection i mean it wasn't a urinary tract infection and the way that she was acting he said it was probably a kidney infection so they gave her amoxicillin and they gave her a really high dose of it and i noticed that her like mood started switching and she would get really like violent at night like super crazy crying like she was in pain but uh, we didn't know what it was she would touch her face and said that her face hurt so i feel like she gets some type of reaction from amoxicillin and maybe i'm crazy but i always felt like that this is the second time she's had an infection period so this is the second time ever that she's had amoxicillin and it's for the ear infection and last night she started complaining about her cheeks hurting and she also started saying that that um 
No, she also started saying she's also been acting so not herself. Like she's sassy, but she's just being like bad mood, like being super rude, being super mean, and that's usually not her. Like it, it's not like she has her moments, but it's been like an all day thing. So it's been a really rough week. It's Wednesday today, and it's just been a really rough week with her and i think it's because the amoxicillin so today's day five i'm supposed to give it to her for seven days but i think i'm gonna cut it off today i'm gonna give her the last dose tonight and that's it because i really do think she has some type of allergic reaction between her cheeks hurting which is really weird and her attitude i definitely think that is from the amoxicillin and maybe i'm crazy but we're we're stopping it today because it's been a rough week so i'm kind of glad that i'm leaving the house for a little bit um and yeah, let's get going. I need to stop at a UPS store really quick to return uh, some shorts that didn't fit me. These shorts, the maternity shorts that I shared with you guys on my last vlog. I got them in a large too, just to make sure. Uh, so I have to return those large. And then I want to return that dress that I just wore for my Zoom. I bought it this weekend with Tone. And when I saw it in the Zoom, I was like, this looks like I have a sleeping gown. So I'm going to go return it. Thank God I didn't even take off. I hadn't even tried it on, but it was the first thing that I had there. So I put it on. So I'm going to go return it. And then we'll go to probably Panera or Starbucks. I might be hungry by then because I usually will have a lunch at home. But um, we'll probably just grab a bite of something at Panera. So let's get going. UPS store drop off. Okay, I'm actually planning a back to school little giveaway. Um, so I'm getting some stuff here. They have tons of stuff for back to school. So I'm grabbing a couple of things uh, for the giveaway. Okay, so this is what I got. I love kettle chips. I'm a sucker for chips. But I got the chicken, well, rice cream. I don't know. I think it has chicken. And then the goddess cup salad, no chicken half and half and a green tea i do like the unsweetened green tea and i put a little bit of the hibiscus lemonade which is a little sweetened and that is that i'm gonna eat okay guys i edited most of this vlog um so we're heading home it's about four i've been out now for like two hours so we're going back home because i gotta cook dinner and i have yoga at six i forgot to tell you been doing yoga on Wednesdays and prenatal yoga and it's amazing so let's have so we just got home my mom needed tomatoes so I just picked up a few things these little pies at the grocery store they're a dollar and then uh, my dad really likes them on my mom so I just bought them that um, got two peaches they were like a really good sale got celery for tone I can I show them this? yes excited i showed you guys this when i picked it up the target i don't know if i did yeah but they're little erasers but she uses them for what for my barbie <laughs> is that your barbie's food yeah. yes were you a good girl when and mommy was gone yes okay good girl and also um they look, they look like real real to eat and this was very nice. they look like real real food oh yeah super cute what is it made out of? Mm, eraser's. I don't know. I don't know I what eraser's made of. I think it's like the make like it rubber. Like rubber. Oh, like I think they make it out of um, cryosaur sponges. Oh, cryosaur sponges. Sounds about right. Yeah. Alright, mommy's gonna cook, okay? The I think they make the crayons and like crayons. And yeah, yeah, the crayons. I think they are making like this. Different Crayola factory that has like food and everything. Uh -huh. So I think they make it there. Maybe. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna cook because then I have to go to yoga, okay? Yoga? Go play. Mm -hmm. I'm a shy cake. I told you when you were older we could go, okay? Okay, mommy. Yeah, she would love those and they were a dollar. Anyways, um, back to it. I got celery for Tom. He eats celery every single day with blue cheese. He loves it. Um, got lettuce for salads, romaine lettuce, that's his favorite lettuce. Got the tomatoes and some avocados, which I was hoping they were ripe, but they weren't. Oh, and some plums. So that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and make dinner. And for dinner, well, it's gonna be five, and um, my yoga class, it's at six o'clock. So, I'm gonna 
prep for dinner now. I'm making stuffed peppers, which is so easy to do. I'm making them with turkey, ground turkey. Yesterday I got ground turkey, I have some peppers, and I asked my mom to make extra rice. She made uh, jasmine rice, you can use whatever rice you want, but I just asked her to make um, extra jasmine rice, so the rice is already made. So I'm gonna show you really quick. The easiest way to make them, I'm doing them like super simple way, and I'm just gonna leave them prep. So if Tone, when Tone, Tone has to work late today, so he'll probably be home around six. He could either eat with Penelope or he'll wait for me um, when I get out of yoga, but I get done at seven. So I don't wanna come home at seven and cook dinner and eat so late. So I'm gonna leave everything kind of ready, just have them ready to pop in the oven. And then whatever, they could eat without me or they could eat with me. I'm still kind of full, so I don't think I'm gonna have anything right now. But before I go to yoga, I might have a, a little snack if I'm hungry. I'm not really hungry right now, I'm full. Usually my lunches are not that big. I like eat really small portions of food throughout the day. So we'll see. Let me put this away and get dinner started. Okay, so once you washed your produce, you're gonna go ahead and open up your peppers. You wanna cut the top off and then carefully cut the sides and kind of like with your hand, just take all the junk <laughs> from inside and make sure it's nice and clean. And then I am putting a bit of water to boil and I'm just adding some salt and complete seasoning to it. Okay, so I added some seasonings to like a quarter pot of water and I turned that on and I'm just gonna cook the peppers in it or steam them for about five minutes while I brown the meat. It's the easiest way to do it. Um, and they're just a little bit more cooked for when you put them in the oven. This next step is optional, but I don't like to waste any of the food, so I just use whatever is left from the top that I could use. I just chop it up and I'll mix it with the meat. To do that, you could add some olive oil to a skillet. Usually I will cut up, so I cut up the rest of the peppers here, um, just so they don't go to waste, and I'll add it to the meat. And usually I will cut up onion and saute onion and garlic as well, but because of my pregnancy, I cannot stomach the way that raw onion or the onion when it's cooking smells, so I cannot do it. I've been cooking without onion because it really upsets my stomach, and then I'm nauseous, and then I can't even eat anything. So I'm just gonna add uh, dry seasonings, but if you're not pregnant like me, go ahead and chop up some onion and saute that first with a little bit of fresh garlic. Just cannot do any of those right now, um, but you can and it'll be really yummy. And I'm also using um, lean turkey, ground turkey. It's 93% lean, 7% fat, but you could use ground beef or ground chicken if you want. You can even do seafood. I've never done it with seafood, but I've done it with chicken and I've done it with, um, I've done it with shredded chicken. I have like an old recipe um, with shredded chicken that was really good too. And I've done it with beef a couple of times. So I first like to cook my veggies because I want them to be nice and soft. So I'm adding my peppers. If I was doing onions, I would cook these first. Um, then add the peppers and the garlic last. Uh, but once those are nice and soft, I'm going to go ahead and add my um, ground turkey. I am adding some seasonings to this. I just added some salt and complete seasoning. It is the Badia complete seasoning. And then once I add my ground turkey to that, I add a garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, salt and pepper, and a little bit of Italian seasoning. So once your ground turkey is uh, cooking or browning, um, you're going to go ahead and take out your peppers. You don't want to cook them for too long tops 10 minutes but i did about seven minutes just because you still want them to be nice and crispy and then you want to transfer them to an oven safe dish once your meat is almost brown you're going to go ahead and add some either tomato sauce some people do tomato sauce i like to do crushed tomatoes I like to use plain crushed tomatoes. I feel like it gives it a better taste. And then I just add the same seasonings that I added to the um, ground turkey. But you could go ahead and um, get the crushed tomatoes that are seasoned or you could get tomato sauce if that's what you would rather have. Um, and then the last thing I do is I add a little bit of the water that I have left over from the peppers because I want this to stay moist and juicy when I add my rice. Let this simmer for a few minutes, maybe like five, 10 minutes. Um, you're gonna go ahead and add your rice. And like I said, you could do any rice. You could do brown rice. You could even do quinoa or couscous with this. Either one will be really good. 
guys so this is what your filling looks like and then you could just go ahead and add it to your peppers and then top it with some shredded cheese or you could layer like cheese and mix and cheese and mix first here ready um and i'm gonna let tone stuff him whenever he's ready to eat unless he waits for me until i get back and then i could do it guys i just made it to yoga with four minutes to spare the only thing is that it's on the third floor and there's no elevators every time i come i'm like I'm dying. okay went to the bathroom now i'm gonna go in can't film in there so i mean it would probably be weird if i film in there so i'm not Okay, we just got done with class and oh my god, it's about to pour. It's like so dark. Um, I was the only one that showed up to class, you guys. The only one that showed up to class. Let me just... Um, so I got kind of like a... Oh wait, Tom is calling. Okay, Tom just called me to ask me how long to put the peppers in the oven because he's hungry. I thought he had already eaten. And he's like, no, I was waiting for you, but it's 7.05. I'll be home in like two minutes. I hear the peppers tone layer them with cheese they look so good and he waited for me to eat so we're all eating together it's okay okay guys so we are about to watch a movie with Penelope because I promised her we would watch a movie the kitchen is clean Tone gave her a shower and and now we are gonna sit down and watch a movie in our PJ well she's in PJs I just have sweatpants she's in her cute PJs and we're gonna watch a little movie because I promised her before bed so she'll go to bed later than usual but we'll get to watch a movie since i was out out today and working there's a fly in here all right let's see what we're gonna watch oh there it is pick the movie we're gonna watch shark tale oh it's okay i'll fix it we're gonna watch shark tale so we're gonna watch a little bit and then have a little snack Says it's not movie night unless we have popcorn, so we're gonna have some skinny pop. Forgot to tell you, but I had um, some grapes before. And guys, the one thing that I've been craving like crazy, and I literally could have it probably every night. I don't, but I have it like a couple nights a week. Is cocoa pebbles. I crave it so hard. Um, but I can't have whole milk. And I don't like it with almond milk. I don't mind eating other syrup with almond milk, but cocoa pebbles, you just need milk. So I got um, just like lactate, lactose free milk. And I usually will have a little bowl. And I don't want popcorn. I really am craving something sweet. Um, I'm craving cereal. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, the other night I was craving chocolate and I got a dark chocolate Kit Kat. And it gave me the worst, like, acid reflux and it was just bad and then I felt so sick so cannot have that but the cocoa pebbles with the lactose free milk works so good so I'm gonna have that and tone up here gonna have popcorn and then I think I'm gonna end this video here because after that we're just gonna go to bed I'll put Pete down and everything so I think I'm gonna end this video I think I'm gonna end the video here um, I won't have anything else after cereal just water before bed and that is it you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, it was kind of like a typical Wednesday now this is kind of like what we do on Wednesdays so that is it <laughs> that is all I had to say I hope you guys enjoyed this video again if you are coming from Katie's channel I hope you stick around and uh, make sure you hit up the notifications so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Hold on, baby. And then um, make sure you go check out Katie's video because it's also awesome and she is amazing and you guys will love her. 100% recommend following her. So I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.